Previously on The Sims 2 The Homewrecker miniseries, you have met our star sim of this miniseries, and his name is Andrew Francesco. He's a very overfriendly sim and will just pretty much get anybody he wants depending if they're good looking or not. In the last episode, he has manipulated Marissa Cleveland, and he will continue to manipulate in this episode. So enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play The Sims 2 Homewrecker miniseries episode 2, part 2, whatever you want to call it. Um, so in the last episode, I think I showed you guys through the preview already, sorry. But, uh, yeah. He's a homewrecker. This girl got Chris Brown by him. He got, like, slap, pump, pump, uh, pimp slapped or something, I don't know. He Chris Browned her, because he, you know, he beat her up. Just for, you know, flirting with, uh, Andrew here. I keep, I keep forgetting their names easily. Uh, but let's just keep, you know, flirting with her. And let's let's hope it doesn't continue to be this way between Jason Cleveland and Marissa. Apparently they are married or something. So we're going to keep on flirting with her and see what happens. Uh, damn, damn it. Flirt. Charm. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't get in the hot tub. You're going to get electrocuted and you'll die. Probably. Okay, um, I think we should head inside now because I do not want to get electrocuted. Ooh, there's a, there's that lady, the, that, the creeper, the creeper lady right there. Uh, let's see, greets, high five, why not? Come on, go, 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 chop, chop. Uh, I can't, I can't really see well, okay. So, ask for a blind date, but she's gonna ask us for money, I bet. That's usually what happens. Like if you want a good date, you gotta give me some money. Uh, we should have his date be... He is bisexual, and he's hitting on a female right now, so I guess we should go for a male. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh! Only your cash can help my crystal ball pierce the mist of fate that vowed the inner nature of your perfect match. If you let your stinginess cloud my vision, you'll have only yourself to blame. Now then, how much will you spend? Uh, maybe I should not do this quite yet, because... Actually, the next payment is in Monday, and I'm pretty sure we can get a lot of money by then. So let's, let's go for about $4,000 simoleons. Four thousand is good, right? Hopefully, I don't waste my money on this. It better be worth it. Better be worth it. That's all I gotta say. Now that's what I call making a commitment. I can sense that you two are nearly perfect for each other. Somebody got electrocuted, and it's Marissa. Hopefully, she doesn't die. <clears throat> oh. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Geoff, Goff, Rutherford. They're like, hello, how are you? Fancy, I say. And he's not interested in Marissa anymore. I don't know. Or maybe she's just electrocuted her face. Yeah. Anyways, uh. Let's just, whatever, be fruity, I guess. <laughs> um, entertain, I heard, we're already we're doing that. Why do I keep doing that for? I don't know. What does he want? He wants to talk to Andrew, have a pillow fight, play with Andrew. He wants to be tickled by Andrew. Ew, ew. But let's tickle him. Have a little tickle party. I don't think we can do that just yet. Okay, maybe we can tickle. No, we can't do that. Have a little chit chat. Get to know. 
him a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> he wants to woohoo with him. Should we do it? Should this be our worst, our, our first woohoo? Should he lose his virginity to this guy here? I don't, I don't think so. I, this is, this is really awkward. Uh, I don't, I don't support this. Okay, never mind. She's not gonna say anything. I think he should lose his virginity to a woman. I mean, he can he can do the second time with a man, but the first time should be with a woman. I don't know, my opinion. We'll just have to wait and see where the where this takes its course, I guess. Uh, let's see, he wants to flirt. He has to do that, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he has to do that. He doesn't want to hug. That's that's terrible. Um, he wants to play with Andrew and dance with Andrew, so dance together. He wants to dine out with Geoff, but I don't think we should do that yet. Tickle him. Tickle party. <sighs> Can we hug now? What is our relationship? Uh, 39. Time is running out. This is going to be the worst first date. Uh, let's not hug him yet. Can't even hug him. There's nothing much to do. I'm just too slow. Just too slow. To go some more. Oh no. Wonder what's going to happen between Marissa and. What's his face? I don't even know what his name is. Jason is. But we'll have to have a little visit with them later. Maybe we can have uh, Andrew flirt with both of them. John. Not John, what the freak. Jason and Marissa. Just a rainy little day, you know. This date is not going so well, but oh well. Oh. We got two more minutes. Cool, cool. And they're friends now. He can't do anything romantic with him that much, besides checking him out. That's not really the best romantic interaction. Uh, what what turns you off? Ask him his things. What turns him on? And I think checking him out will determine whether he has chemistry with him or not. I think. I think. He has chemistry with him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is, this is a little weird. Give, give him a back row. <laughs> oh my god, this is, uh. Look at this apartment. Isn't it isn't it just nice? I kinda like the uh the building of it. It's, it's pretty cool. Central Park West. Oh, they're in love. I mean, not in, not in love, but they have crushes on each other. He, he kissed us. What the heck? And the date is going great, and we got extra two minutes. Yippee. Oh, oh. There's a dance kiss. Oh, oh, oh. 
And it's getting pretty late. I think we should end it right now. Let's end it right now. Let's end it right now. End the date. End the date. Yeah. You're a great date, baby. We just have to do this again. It's time to finish this cooking of macaroni and cheese and then eat and go to bed. He's not really that tired anyways. He's like halfway tired. And he has work at 7 a.m. in the morning, so yeah, have him eat and then sleep for a little bit in case let him recharge his batteries before he goes to work. And he's got a cooking skill point. Cool, cool, cool. And I believe the next day, uh, that guy, what's his face? I don't, I already can't, I keep forgetting. Wow, he has three chemistry uh, electric thingies on his picture. And he has one chemistry with Jason and no chemistry with Marissa. You know what? Not anymore, I think. I think we had chemistry with her before, but then it's gone now. Because he saw her get like electrocuted or something, and that turned him off. So he's like, oh, I'm not going for her no more. Okay, so how's your guys' day going? Mine's alright. Sort of. Sort of. So I'm just gonna let him sleep. Uh, there's no point in cutting out because it's kind of close for him to go to work. So, yeah. The carpool for Andrew C will arrive about an hour. Let him sleep a little bit more before 6 o'clock. Let's wake him up now. And then he can go to work. Let's be neat. Clean up. Make up our bed. Okay, the carpool is here, and I think we'll be cutting uh, back in when I'll be cutting back in when he comes back from work, which is going to be at 1 p.m. So I'll talk to you guys then. But let's just watch him go to his, the carpool for his first day of work. Nothing special. Okay. All right, so I'm back, and Andrew is very close to coming back from work. Like I said, 1 o'clock p.m. So he should be coming about Horizon now. Yes. And the school bus is here. Oh, great. Where's our carpool at? There it is. All right, so I think we should get promoted right now. Oh no. And he, oh, he didn't get promoted. What the, what the hell? Okay, so what I'm thinking to do what I'm thinking about doing is have uh, Andrew hit on Jason and admire him actually and just you know get a little friendly with him asking how much money do you have is a little too personal <laughs> so I don't think we should do that ask about his interests and what turns you on We do have chemistry with this guy, so hopefully none of these backfire. Uh, he's planning something like very, very mischievous. He's got a water balloon behind his back. What are you gonna do? Oh, canceled that reaction. Interaction. Uh oh, he's got another one. What are you doing? Okay, whatever. Whether you like it or not, you will love us. Fine, screw you. We'll go back to your freaking wife. She loves us more than you. And if you slap her, don't blame her. And she has a crush on us again, and now we have chemistry. Great. You want a back rub, huh? You want a back rub? So, hmm. We are a homewrecker, so expect to see a lot of these, you know, romantic in 
interactions that come with Andrew, what we're doing with him, you know. Uh, sweet talk. Suggestion. Kiss her hand. Is he just gonna let her, like, f he's just gonna let her do that? Let him do that? He seems to not care anymore. Whatever then. <laughs> I have seriously. We sh we should seriously go to a community lot. Look for more people. Hmm. It's kind of boring right now. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot. They probably dislike each other because he's hitting on his, you know, his wife. I think they're still married. I have no idea. Maybe they divorced already. I don't know. Um, but we shall see. Suck her face off. Give her dirty joke. And we're getting closer and closer and closer. Okay, he is really tired, so I think he's going. Yeah, he's just he's just gonna go to sleep. And we ha we don't have work tomorrow, which is which is good because that gives us more opportunity to find more Sims that we can manipulate and you know just do stuff with. <clears throat> and just so you know, he is the star of this Let's Play. If anything happens to him, then uh, the series will be over. So I'll, uh, let's see, let's wake him up now because I don't want his uh, sleeping schedule to be messed up, that would suck. And we're just going to work on his body skill a little bit. Hey, that's not in the way. I think he's into fitness, yeah. Oh yeah, that's his. That's his uh, preferred uh, hobby. Just work out. And since it is fall, he's going to be leveling it up pretty fast. As you can see, it's almost filled. Wow, it's going really fast. That's what she said. And it'll only continue to get faster, hopefully. He still wants to have that woohoo, I don't know what we should do for that. I still can't make the decision to whether we should lose, make him lose his virginity to a girl or a guy. But let's make the first one very, very special. <laughs> let's go visit the Clevelands. Uh, ask for Jason to come out. Should we hit on Marissa more and just be more friendly with Jason? Let's let's try Jason. Come on, Jason. You know you want to come out. Be a creeper. Oh, Jason's not home. Where'd, where'd you go, fool? What about Marissa? Oh, Marissa comes out. Of course she'd be home. She's like, I'm going to be waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. Uh, I don't think we should ask her to move in yet. Not just, not just yet. Not just yet. And she's gonna go inside her house. Okay, let's just knock on the door and just go inside. And I think Jason is back here. I'm not sure. Yeah, Jason. Jason's back here. Oh, he's going inside his house. Oh, damn it. Go, 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 go. And what I like about apartments life is that you can actually visit other people's. You know, houses, apartments, whatever. Everyone's going to sleep. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's knocking on the air. Everybody's sleeping, so 
That just means we can't go in anymore. It's too late to do that. What I'm thinking of doing is having him go out uh, late to a party, since he doesn't have work tomorrow. But he is kind of tired. I have no idea what should we do. We should go party. Go party. Go party. Let's see what Belladonna Cove has to offer. Okay, Archimedes Arcade. Archimedes. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Who cares? A wise man once said, "Games are what keeps the mind youthful." And Archimedes Arcade, we've calculated the perfect amount of entertainment to keep the oldest and wisest minds in their prime. The art museum. Not really interesting. Featured artists: Albert Ein Ar Albert Einstein. Such a freaking ripoff of Albert Einstein. Is, or is that actually a real name? I don't know. Bartholomew Dade, Annie Newitz, Nina Simogen, and many more. There's groceries, public library, psh, we're not gonna go there. Coffee shop, Central Park, Central Park East, Central Park Pavilion, Central Park West, Kratos Gym. Ooh, we should probably go to the gym sometime, see what that looks like. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the Spirits, the Spritz, the Spritz Deals Clothing Store, Finer Fair Markets, Freya's Raiments, Game Send Grounds, and Clothing, and Apparel, Swift and Thrift, Mini Mart. And I think we will go out partying uh, in the next episode, so, yeah. Probably just gonna let him sleep again. Why, why did I do that? I don't know. And we shall, uh, dang, dang, dang. Pick back up when he wakes up. We're gonna go ahead and wake up Andrew. Wake up. Yeah, we're gonna wake up Andrew. And we're gonna serve up some toaster pastries for breakfast. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, he got a little rose thingy. And I bet this is from, uh, uh, What's his face? What's his face? Gilf, Gilf. So yeah. It's gonna resume cooking. Get it now. Mm, toaster pastries. Sounds delicious. For breakfast. It's like a pop tart. Cooked pop tart, pop tart, -te. pop tart. Okay, speed this up. No one really wants to see that. Andrew has the nights off. Oh yeah, I forgot he has. He, he doesn't have work today. Great, great. So yeah, that will give us more opportunities to meet new Sims. You know, just get everybody in his pants. <clears throat> <laughs> So to raise up his fun meter, we're just gonna go ahead and watch some, m watch a movie, and let's just look around the apartment and see if anybody's gonna come out. And of course not, probably not. It's five in the morning. Who gets up outside at five in the morning? Me. Not really. I, I get up at six. Phone, fly phone, fly phone, give her. Such gangster music. Love it. Mm. He's not really satisfied with that toaster pastry. But we're going to go ahead and uh, view this thing, this rose thing here. We already know it's from Goff. Geoff, Geoff. Don't know how to pronounce it. If you can help me pronounce it, then you're more than welcome. It's Geoff or Geoff. No idea. Dear Andrew, romance bloomed between us and this single flower shows as, and as I think of you. My sweet, my longing for you grows. Gilf. Gilf. Uh, <laughs> Gilf, you don't understand what, what, kind, what kind of people we are. So, uh, your gift doesn't mean anything to us. <laughs> oh, who's here? Who lives in this household? <gasps> oh, her house is very empty. 
Okay. Who is this? Ooh, Fiona. Hello, Fiona. What a coincidence. I've never seen you before. i never heard of your name before. It's so unique. Oh, and your hairstyle looks so nice. And your dress. Ooh, mmm. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Fiona is part of season one, one of my uh, season one characters that moved on to season two and then died as an elder. And I decided to, you know, be creative and mix things up, make it, mix things more spicy and add her back into the gameplay. And she is actually the same type of person uh, since the beginning of season one, you know, the same facial features, blue eyes, black hair. And different dressing, you know, different kind of clothing, you know, just change that up a bit, and then that's pretty much it. She has the same turn on and turn offs, the same person she ever was in season one. So yeah, she made a comeback from the dead. You know, it's Sims. Logic doesn't really matter in this game. We're gonna go ahead and apologize to this messed up face guy here, Jason Cleveland. Jason Cleveland. He's probably like, I hate that guy. I despise him. He probably does hate us, but we don't hate him because we've been hitting on his wife, you know. <laughs> I don't feel bad. Apologize again. So, like, just chill, dude. Chill. I have to accept your apology. Yeah, we're best friends already. entertain him with a joke hopefully yeah he does find us humorous very interesting we're not gonna appreciate him okay we can't appreciate him not admire him uh, so yeah we're gonna do a little water balloon fight session here and then uh, we we'll just have to see where this takes course take its course oh yeah you're such a party pooper Tired of people like you. Okay, you know what? This this relationship can be over. We don't need we don't need you. We don't need you. Venkat Goss is back. He is our landlord. Just to check on. And we have mail. And it's green. This I guess I'm assuming this is our mailbox here. It's green. So yay for us. What is this? Bills? Bills. Oh, my God. You trying to hit on us? You trying to hit on us? Nope, nope, nope. It's supposed to be the opposite. We hit on you. But he's... I don't know. He's, we're not into those types of people. Bald. His facial features really don't... I mean, he doesn't look that bad, but I'm not going to go for him. We are still on to Marissa, and we will soon be on with Fiona. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some lunch meat sandwiches. Hopefully that can be a little bit more fulfilling than those toaster pastries. Actually, I think we should go out and eat. That would be better, but I don't know. But we're going to go and join the hot tub. You know, get a little bit friendlier with Fiona once we're done eating. Hopefully she doesn't get out by then. Looks like the apartment is in great shape. There's nothing for me to do. I'll be back tomorrow. He's gonna say that every single day. He's gonna say that every time he comes here. Oh god. Hey, what's up, chick? Fiona? So, do you like sculptures? She's like, uh, yeah, sure, I do like sculptures. Do you like movie theaters or plays? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm so into that. He's like, you like art? She's like, yes, I like art too. And he's like, cool. He's like, do you like missiles? Things that explode? He's like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in fact, I'm in the army. So yeah, of course I would like that. Do you like being charismatic? And of course, you guys would know Fiona is actually a charismatic person. Season one, if you didn't know that. Fun fact. He's like, I like our... Hey, who the hell invited you here? Get out! Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly. No one invited you to this freaking party. Nobody. Did Fiona did? No. Did me? No. You can't just invite yourself in this hot tub. Go join Marissa and, you know, party for one. Party for two over there. Don't even think about Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it, man. 
No chance. If you cut that hair, probably. And change that swimsuit. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just being, being Andrew. So everything is going pretty well. Hopefully, I didn't jinx that. Knock on wood. I don't know. I don't really don't understand what's the point of putting on knocking on wood. I don't know. If you're superficial, I think that's what it's called. Being super. Is it superficial? No. Super something. I can't remember what I was about to say. Super something. something. I forgot that word. Dang it. But we're going to go ahead and end the part here. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and click the like button. Give it a big thumbs up. If you want to continue watching this series or any other series that you're interested in. And if you want to know a little bit about more about Fiona Anderson, you can go ahead and go to my uh, channel. And there is a little playlist on the right side that says uh, Season 1, The Anderson, uh, Melissa, and Mark's Life. And it says completed because it's finished. So, yeah. But, uh... In the next episode, we shall probably hit on Fiona, probably get a little bit more friendly with Geoff and some other interesting things. Um, until then, I'll talk to you guys all later. Hopefully, you guys had a great day. And I'll talk to you guys yeah, later, whenever I have the time, because I have midterms this week. But you guys didn't ask for that. Uh, yeah. Bye. And I forgot one thing, stay awesome. <laughs>